Please lift up your shirt for me. Could you lift up your shirt for me, please? I don't understand. Where is the head of the department? I am the head of the department. Hi. That, uh, nymphette? Mmm, a nymphette. Thank you for the compliment. Would you allow me to examine you? Do I have a choice? Sure you do. You can get rid of a few more doctors. Because of their race, their age, or their gender. Or you could bleed out and lose your baby. What's the term? Twenty weeks. Is this your first pregnancy? Fetus size... fits the term date. You have a large retroanemiotic hematoma. What do you mean? I don't understand. Please explain. Placental abruption. Alexei Niklovich. General blood test, coagulogram. The whole thing. Cytology okay. too. Can... Can I lose the baby? We will do everything we possibly can to keep you pregnant. Wait a second. I need... I need a guarantee. I need a guarantee! Only God can give such guarantees. We're not magicians, but we'll try our best. Gurney, please, and into the ward. We dug deep into our pockets, and, well, I know it's not that much money. It's for her operation. Um, it's a great injustice that you decided to take this step for her, carrying the girls for her. I hope your mom will be okay. Do you hear me? My mom died today. I don't have anyone else now. What do you mean you don't have anyone? Narka, Gaichka, Sonichka, they are yours. They don't need me anymore. <laughs> you are already our daughter. So don't be afraid. <laughs> Here, hold your hand in a fist. What do you keep injecting me with? Blood thinners and antispasmodics. Give me the entire list of medications and dosages. You're up to something. Well, where are you going? Am I supposed to just lie here? Why don't you talk to the baby? That'll be good for it. So what happens if the fetus can't be saved? Then the whole shift should emigrate to Burkino Faso. Or any place with no extradition. Whoops. Sorry. Everything all right? Yeah. Listen. Look, if I'd faced a childhood like yours, my dear, I wouldn't be complaining. I slept on an airbed until I was 17 in a small room. 
with grandmother and sister. You'll have everything. You hear me? Do you hear me? Do you hear me? It's a miscarriage. Gurney, operating room, anesthetists. Do you mind if I... It's cleaned, but it's bleeding a lot. Oxytocin and tranexam. Yes, boss. Uh, darling, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. How's it going? It's okay. The uterus is not contracting. Alexei Nikolovich, hold the aorta. Blood loss over a liter and a half. We're going to operate. We need to tie off the vessels. Plasma, three doses, and reinfusion. We need to call for help. Call Bazanov. Yes? Who? What's the operating room? Scalpel. Hurry up. You need to tie off the vessels. Mm -hmm. Rosalind, that's your uh, former patient. Is she so feisty with everyone or just with us? Stitches? Of course. Giving up your own daughter just because she didn't turn out to be white? But instead, a bit of coffee with milk. Colleagues, focus. We're tying off the vessels. I'm sorry. The bleeding won't stop. Yeah. Three liters of blood. The vessels are tied, but the uterus is not contracting. Compression stitches don't work. We have to remove the uterus. Pinch clamp. Even Nikola Yevna, we had to remove your uterus. We had no other choice. Otherwise, you would have bled to death. We are very sorry for your loss. Get out of here. See you tomorrow. All right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm on my way. Truth or dare? What? Truth or dare? Mm. Truth. Did you have something with Pazanov? Yes, once, after two bottles of wine. It meant absolutely nothing. It was a mistake. He and I were able to move past it. He's just a friend again. Who are you gonna fool now, yourself? Andre, what do you want? To not talk to him? That would be nice. I've known him since I was 17. There are no other people like him in my life. Natalia. You still have to choose what's more important to you.
Hey. Any news? I can't bring myself to open the envelope. You're afraid it's going to be a yes? Or that it's a no? I don't know. Should I look? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Street's name is Happy. That's funny. Negative. It actually says yes. Now you know exactly how you feel about it. <sighs> I'm an ant now, my god. <laughs> yeah. Mm. <laughs> Natalia, I did a test. Mishka is my son. I want to be his father. Mishka is Andre's son. You know better than me about the insignificance of biology. Uh, it was easier for you to think that Kolmograf was his father? I got over it somehow. Andre guessed that we had something going on. Really? Huh. He should have been given a prize for that. And he doesn't know about Mishka yet. Do you not have to tell the truth to each other in your relationship? Give me time to deal with it, please. I can't lose him. Can you please just wait a bit? Bakhmativa, I'm getting tired of waiting for you. Natalia Vladimirovna, I'm here to see you. As soon as I saw the news report about how you helped that girl with triplets, I said to my husband, sell the TV and buy a ticket. And now, 48 hours later, I'm here. Where did you come so far from? Oh, from Vorkuta. I'm from there too. Really? Oh. Come on. Okay. Thank you so much. Thanks. So, I see that you have brittle bone disease? Yes. 45 fractures. Arms, legs, spine. I broke my first bone when I was a year old. Not all glass people are so lucky. Oh, that's when they diagnosed me. On the x-ray, the bones were translucent. My mom was very worried and carried me in her arms the whole time. No kids, no games, and they actually said that I would probably die straight away of pain shock. And when was the last fracture? I haven't fractured a single bone for almost six years. Have you outgrown it? Everyone says that I did. Actually, it's because I fell in love. Tell me, were you warned about the possible risks and complications of pregnancy with your condition? Of course. In Vorkuta, the doctors sent me for an abortion right away. They said that the baby will press on my bones, that I won't survive it. But I'm not worried about me. I'm worried about him. What if, what if he's born with glass bones too? What are his chances? It's about 50-50. Pavel, prepare everything for the ultrasound. I'll be right there.
Natalia, I hope you understand that this condition is not compatible with pregnancy. Wait, I want to look at the ultrasound to see if the fetus is broken. If it's been transferred to him, she's ready. If you don't see anything scary on the ultrasound, it doesn't mean anything. It actually means she will have some hope. Do you realize what will happen to the center if she shatters like bohemian glass? Just wait, shouldn't we think about the patient and her baby first? Natash, send her to induce labor. Give her a chance to live a long life. We can at least look. We can at least try. It doesn't really matter. Not all of us can. Once I, I failed to get a mom to have an abortion. And how did that case turn out? The girl was perfectly healthy and the mom went straight to heaven. I dreamt about her a whole year. And when was that? Medicine has made great strides since then. And learned to treat crystal people? Forgive me. I overheard your conversation. It seems to me that Natalia is right. This is the only way to prove your worthiness. To take on such cases and win them. Think about it. Okay, Natashka, do the ultrasound, and then we'll see. Thank you, Yuri Alexevich. Well, what is it? It's okay. Don't worry about it. Tell me more about how your love stopped the disease. <laughs> well... I was sitting on the windowsill with a broken leg <laughs> and he was passing by and asked me how I was. So I said that everything was fine, the best. He says, what good is it to sit with a broken leg? I say, better this than something worse. Isn't that great? Better that I broke my leg and not my spine. <laughs> I can sit, I can breathe, I can see. I can dream. He climbed into the window to sit next to me. <laughs> we haven't parted since. I don't see any abnormalities. Remember that it's too early to celebrate. Congenital defects can be discovered later. Never too early to celebrate. <laughs> We don't have a checkout today, but a tearful celebration. With Aliano Triplets all the more epic. And the convict with her missing kidney. Not better, is it? That's what I mean. Look. <laughs> Here's a cradle to top it off. Well, of course. I know they won't all fit, but let them take turns to sleep. <laughs> Do you like it? Yeah. Here you go. Thank you. How do I accept all of this? With gratitude, go get ready. Come on, get packed. You get packed too, we'll be coming for you soon. This is for Ivanishka. <laughs> Thank you. Same face, right? I thought he'd at least come for the checkout. I never would have thought I'd be so naive. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll go get my things. Go ahead. Irina, you have a guest. As Misha says, please welcome. Oh, are you the Crystal Tassia? <laughs> yes, I am. 
Right, we have a celebrity award now. Irina Andreevna is a world champion and an Olympic silver medalist. Mm -hmm. Well, I always consider it my biggest defeat. Are you serious? Yes. But we ordered a commemorative plaque for you <laughs> to put up at the entrance. <laughs> oh. You keep an eye on her, okay? Mm -hmm. So you purposely encouraged her with that crystal lady so she'd take a chance and screw it up? So I look like Milady de Winter to you? Yes, a bit. Tell me, why do you dislike this book Metyeva so much? Well, you see, she and I disagreed on global warming. Okay. We'll have to think about a possible replacement. Maybe Vikentiev? He's been sitting in reserve in his Snegarevka for too long. What about Ruslan Bazanov? Although, he is a reproduction specialist and has just started working on two fronts. Zhenka's son? Well, why not? He already has himself a famous last name. The patients like him. He's not a bad surgeon, he just got back from the States. Of course, we can't have with his experience. We'll think about it. Would you take the risk? I would put her in the ward and then keep watch. Clearly realizing that this crystal lady is a stick of dynamite. And inside her... Is a lighter. Exactly. And why are you doubting yourself, Natalia? I'm afraid. I'm afraid that I'll promise that she'll give birth, but she will die. I see there's some serious work going on here to undermine your faith in yourself. I miss you so much, Oleg. Maybe you should come back. You can be a center supervisor. You can work with the interns. Shall I talk to Kolmogorov? No. The center has you. And now I have another concern. <sighs> to see if I'm worth anything without this job, or if it's really time to give up. What can I do for you? A farewell party. And look after Prasha. And most importantly, Natalia, believe in yourself. Okay. <laughs> You'll sleep much better. And the coffee is amazing. Mm, I got it. Okay, I'll think about it. Excuse me. Can I steal Olga from you? Well, of course. If you promise to marry her. <laughs> <laughs>
Phone's ringing. I know. Haven't you heard anything about this guy? He's life-threatening. Are you jealous or envious? Both. <laughs> but I would still rather entertain you myself. Mm. How about tonight? <laughs> I can't tonight. I'm going to my parents' cottage. I've got endless repairs to do in the bathroom. So then, change the workers and come to my place. Maybe I'll cook dinner for you. What do you say? You can cook? Mm-mm. Sounds tempting. <laughs> Can I have some? Milk chocolate? Bubbly? What about the 54 centimeter waist? You have a good memory. Oh, by the way, remember when you jumped over that hole in that house that was being demolished? When I promised to kiss you? What's wrong with you, Inga? Fever? <laughs> Posh. You know, now it's probably too late and it's all quite stupid. I'm sorry, but I sometimes think what a heartless bitch I was. A fool for not appreciating you then. I'll call Bagarov. We have a problem here. Posh, don't you remember how good we were together? How we used to go for walks and talk? How we used to have sex three times a night? Or pick flowers for your mom? Do you think we'd still be together now if I hadn't? I'm so grateful that you left me. I was told that I need to walk more to heal. To heal faster, so you will walk with me. I'm all ears. <clears throat> no, I am, my dear. I think my assistant has briefed you on the case, so you tell me. What do I have to do in order to put this enterprise out of business for good? I've consulted with three respected medical professionals, mm -hmm. all unanimous. Even Nikolaevna, in this situation, the uterus could not be saved. Well, so then consult with 33 more professionals. I don't understand what this conversation is about. Are you refusing or raising the price? No, I am in no way refusing. Mm -hmm. The difficulty is that you yourself sure. signed a consent for the extirpation of your uterus. Yeah, I signed a consent for anesthesia, and I am still in my right mind. <laughs> Excuse me! Whose child is this? I'm sorry about that. She's very active. <laughs> That's okay. <sighs> Sorry about that again. <laughs> Come here now, Hi my there. sunshine. Ah. How are you, my dear? Everything okay? <laughs> Sam, what's wrong? What's wrong? A pleasant surprise? <laughs> Did you miss me? I missed I'm right. you, yeah. I knew it. <laughs> Where are you from? What's your name, huh? Manyanya. I'm Michael. Nice to meet you. Nadia? Tell me what's wrong. Hmm? Let's go to my office. Let's talk. I always thought that love was uh, more important than sex. But... <laughs> that
that when you love, it's so humiliating to feel awkward. You feel like you're too big, unwanted. Unattractive. Like I'm not a woman. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. It's not your job to spend hours of your day listening to an upset and depressed nurse. <laughs> Tasha, did you keep that crystal Tasha after all? Remember, there will be serious complications. Yes, yes, my dictator. Oh, Natasha. Romka Matornikov found Oksana in India. What was she doing there? Obviously looking for enlightenment. At the same time, when she was in the ashram, it was discovered that she had run away pregnant. That's where she gave birth. He got the call on Friday. They told him to come fetch his wife because she was dying. So where is she now? At his clinic. I understand he doesn't trust his gynecologist very much. In general, all the signs of intoxication, fever, rotten odor from the genitals and such. An ultrasound? Yes, they found involution of the uterus, remnants of placental tissue. It might just be a common postpartum endometritis. I'm not sure. If you're not too busy, you can come with me. Okay, let's go. Stars. Hi. Hi, Rome. Guys, I'm sorry for being so spontaneous. You'll owe us. Sure. So this is what you changed your internship for, business. I see. Listen, switch to us. I'm tired of calling. I'll come when we save your wife. You're still married. Yes. Why did she go to India? Listen, have you ever wanted to go abroad to look for happiness? I went. Didn't find it. I know. What's with the baby? Pediatricians are examining the child. There is nothing wrong. I trust them. Come in. She doesn't want to see me. Okay. Thrombophlebitis in the pelvic vein and the lower extremity deep vein? It's nothing. Roman Sigurjevic shouldn't have bothered you. Hello, Med. Faculty beauty. Natalia. Ruslan. Where is the med faculty? Or the beauty? You better tell us why you ran away from Roman. Why India? I thought that happiness... was out there... somewhere. And now I can't look him in the eyes. <laughs> Natalia. Ruslan, and I'm so glad you're together. I always knew it would be like this. Hush. <sighs> Can I take a look, please? Mm. <clears throat> uh. Uh. Looks like pelvioperitonitis. Where's the blood test for C-reactive protein? Procalcitonin test and an yes. MRI? 
Leukocytosis. Natalia, well... The C-reactive protein is off the charts. Do you have an OR here? Yes, we do. Let's go. Don't worry. It'll be okay. Look, she can get sepsis. We need to operate now. Can you operate? I'm asking you. Sure, lead the way. Come on. center. Ah, already left. Thanks. Ah, come on, do you want to go see the fire again? Let's go to our woodland. Direct to me, no other options. Okay, let me do it. Mm. Quiet, please. Stitches. We flushed the abdomen, examined the intestines. And we had to remove the uterus. Yes, I saw it. Is she going to live? Yes. It's my fault. I ruined everything. I thought a fancy medical supply store or this clinic would solve everything for us. That, she'd tell me how much she loves me. Her flight to India was just a cry for help. Man, save me. Save us. I had nine months to come to my senses. I didn't do anything. She'll never forgive me. Rom, she said the same thing. That you would never forgive her. Why are people like that? Really? You remember how they couldn't stop looking at each other? They went into the same field so they wouldn't be apart from each other. Now what? She went off to the middle of nowhere for enlightenment? Only she forgot to say she's pregnant. And him? Sitting there doing nothing? How can you do that? How can you not see, not feel what's happening to you? That you have something only one in a million have? What is it? I asked you to make a choice. You did. Well, it's work. The fact that Bazanov and I were screwed by a man from our common past is an absolute coincidence. That's not what's important. The woman could have died. 
Here you go. I don't want to take it back to the store. Oh, I'm sorry, I couldn't make it. Emergency call. I should apologize. I opened your album. Were you going to tell me? Of course I was. You have nothing to worry about. There is nothing between us. Really? This changes a lot for me. I don't want to play the love triangle with Natalia anymore. I'm only interested in my son right now. I'm happy for you. The keys are on the table. exactly who she was and what's more important to her. Well, I love my job too. But she's... different. I know there are more important things, but she seemed happy at home. There was no sparkle in her eyes. In surgery. You know, the woman from under the truck. It was like an electric shock. I thought this is where you should be. This is your place. And she'll always forget everything personal. Always running off to save the world. I'm not really sure why you are listening to all of this. I'm sorry. Well, you called me. Did I? That means you had to talk to someone. Feel better? I do. It's all clear with me. Why did you come here? To see whether I let you go or not. <laughs> so... Right. 
Прости, уйди, забудь Ты 